A 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 Ti was just leaked by Lenovo on accident and it looks like the card we've all been waiting for. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So this leak was originally found by videocards.com who apparently found it over on Lenovo's website. So let's go ahead and see what Video Cards has to say about this in their article. A link will be in the description so you can see the whole entire thing by the way as always. And then I'll give my thoughts on it. So Video Card starts off by saying, quote, Lenovo also confirmed that their Legion T7 system will feature the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti model. This SKU has not been announced or even teased by Nvidia in any form. Though it aligns with the rumors that the RTX 3070 series will be offered with both 8GB and 16GB of memory. And then here they show the actual page on Lenovo which since has been taken down but at the time you could see that there was a 3070 Ti model with 16GB of VRAM which honestly is way way better than 8GB and it's the type of generational leap in memory that we probably were all hoping for. So while a whole lot is not actually known about this alleged RTX 3070 Ti or what might even be called the RTX 3070 Super, everything Video Cards knows, they did go ahead and put in a chart at the bottom of their article. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, and then I'll finally give my thoughts on the whole entire thing. So looking here, we can see that most of this stuff just says TBC, but what we do know for sure is it's going to have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus. Now, when you compare that to the RTX 3070, which will be available in October, that does have only 8 gigabytes of GDDR6. DDR6 on a 256-bit bus, though what I find strange about the 3070 specs they listed below is that they say that their GDDR6 on the 3070 is only running at 14 gigabits per second, and you know, I thought it was running at 16 gigabits per second, though I could be wrong, it could be 14, it doesn't really specify in NVIDIA's website, so what I can tell you is this, if there is actually going to be a 3070 Ti or 3070 Super, it will almost definitely have 16 gigabits per second GDDR6, and that's not too hard to get your hands on at the moment. In fact, most of the higher end cards like the 2080 and 2080 Ti can actually achieve 16 gigabits per second right now on the memory that's being supplied. So I'm sure most GDDR6 is capable of 16 gigabits per second at this point because I'm sure yields have continued to get better. So in any case, if you do get 16 gigabits per second GDDR6 and you put on a 256 bit bus, well, instead of getting 441 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, you'll get 512 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which unfortunately is still lower than the 2080 Ti, so it does call into question whether the 3070 and 3070 Ti can truly beat the 2080 Ti overall in terms of classic rasterization performance, but it may be possible if the compression algorithm is better on these cards. And in fact, you know, the 2080 Ti does have probably a little bit more bandwidth than is necessary. I did some tests on it, and you could actually reduce the clock speed of the memory by a whole gigahertz, and you saw like a really negligible, I think it was a maybe 3% drop in performance on the 2080 Ti. So it could be that the 3070 Ti could be quite a bit faster if everything falls into place. But if a 3070 Ti slash 3070 Super does exist, here's what I would expect all of the rest of the specs to look like. So apart from the fact that we'll probably get 16 gigabits per second GDDR6, let's talk about the amount of cores and clock speeds. So, you know, when we look at the 3070, which has 5,888 CUDA cores, according to Nvidia's math, you know, whether you want to count it as that or half of that, that's up to you. But according to them, that's what it is. Well, I believe if that's not the full die, which it probably isn't, it seems like there's a huge space between that and the 3080. Well, then you could probably expect to see something with around 6,600 shaders out of a 3070 Ti. And that would give you roughly, you know, a 13% performance increase and it would move you from being closer to 50% slower to 30% slower than a 3080, which, you know, if Big Navi is a big threat to the 3070, I could definitely see NVIDIA doing. Now as for the clock speeds, I would expect to see something very similar here, maybe a slight reduction. You know, you might see the base clock move from 1500 megahertz to like 1480 something megahertz. And then as for the boost clock, you'll probably see it move from 1725 megahertz to like 1715 megahertz. Probably not too much of a change. I wouldn't expect anything too drastic there. And as for the wattage, I would expect a slight increase here. You'd probably see it move from 220 watts to roughly 250 watts. And then for the price point, 
I would definitely expect this thing to land at $599 because at that point you have to choose between do I want a 3080 for $699 which only has 10 gigabytes of VRAM but will be roughly 30% faster or do I want to save 100 bucks and get 6 gigabytes more of VRAM but it will be a little bit slower. So that's where I expect everything to land and now I'm going to give my thoughts on whether I believe this card will truly exist. So the likelihood of the 3070 Ti or 3070 Super existing at all is actually very high in my opinion because like I said there's a huge gap between the 3070 and the 3080 as it is and so it seems like that's a perfect spot to slot in another card but you won't see this card unless AMD gets their big knobby cards out and they're very very competitive and I do expect them to be all the way up to a 3080 so I think there's big performance gaps between the 3080 and 3090. Well, not the 3080 and 3090. There's probably only a 20% difference there, but I think there's a big gap in terms of shaders where they could easily slot a 3080 Ti or 3080 Super with 20 gigabytes of VRAM. And I also think there's an even bigger gap between the 3070 and 3080 where you could easily slot in a 3070 Ti slash 3070 Super. And so, again, if Big Navi comes out in the next couple of months and it's very, very competitive, definitely expect that you will see a 16 gigabyte 3070 Super or 3070 Ti. And this Lenovo leak only seems to back that up along with the other rumors that we saw before the official launch of these Ampere cards. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the 3070 Super slash 3070 Ti leaks? Do you think it's real or not? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.